Well, there's something in Detroit that was once thought to not even exist, and now some even call it the holy grail for record collectors. It all ties back to Motown and a long-lost artist who worked with Barry Gordy. Photojournalist Alex Atwell has the uniquely Detroit story of what may be the most expensive record in the entire world. We are coined as a museum of music history, Melodies and Memories. It's like walking back into the old dusty record store of yesteryears. I said, you know, this is really silly that we have this record that the world doesn't know about sitting in our collection. It's something that should be told. The story should get out and be told. Well, we have this record. We acquired it in a collection. It is a Frank Wilson chest pressing, the only one that ever was discovered in the world. It's the holy grail of records. It's, it's what every top record collector would want in the world. Gold Eye Magazine calls it the $100,000 record. All you have to do is ask Why is it so valuable? Because Frank Wilson, he decided that he wanted to be um, a writer and producer instead of a singer. What the story was that they had 250 copies. Um, Barry Gordy supposedly destroyed all of them. Um, I don't know who had the test pressing or how they got it out. Everybody wanted their hands on it, but I believe that it belonged in Detroit. So I gave uh, Ben Blackwell a call from Third Man, and I thought Jack White would be really interested in it because he would display it in Detroit along with his other Detroit memorabilia. We worked out a, a deal, a price, and they were ecstatic to get it. Um, I was sad to actually sell it because it's a special group and there's very few of us that ever had it in our hands. And uh, they repressed it for Record Store Day with the same exact label and the same brown sleeve, all the markings. They uh, pressed it in the grape color because that is the color of the sole label. How cool is this right here that you have? I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything better ever that was made to look for a reproduction of this record. Jack had the biggest smile on his face. I, all I can say, he's a super nice guy. He's very down to earth. It was a perfect ending to the fairy tale. I wanted to stay in Detroit because it is a Detroit record. And it is a Motown record. And anything that has to do with Detroit needs to be here and keep our history going. It's very important. Joining us now in studio, Denise and Amanda Zija from Melodies and Memories. Thank you, ladies, for being here this Thank morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. I've been in the store. Lovely place. Thank you. Oh, well, you have brought in a bunch of stuff, which all looks amazing. Walk us through some of this. So we were invited to Third Man. We had a meeting with Jack. He was interested in our Frank Wilson uh, 45, and we came in there, had a meeting with him, very down-to-earth nice nice guy he ended up we ended up selling it to him and we printed it for record store day on a limited edition uh, grape vinyl with all the original stamps uh, he autographed a few items for us an album to my parents and then he also autographed um, his original book to us and we got a few photos and hold that up for just a sec so we can get a shot of that and then we got a, a, a ball autographed, um, the date, this is actually dated the day okay. that we sold the record. It was February 6th that. to him that we handed it over. Very cool, very cool. What and is he, this giant clock in the um, yeah. This is the Golden World record label. This was a clock that was very iconic to the city of Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, it uh, was pressed on the Golden World label. And um, it hung on the Davison, it hung inside the studio in the Davison building. Okay. And um, Ron Banks was a customer and a friend of ours with the Dramatics, and he used to come in and he said, they used to unplug that because the fact that it would hum when they recorded. Mm. So they had unplugged it, but this is a very iconic thing for the city of Detroit. Okay. That you were saying your husband will absolutely not sell he under will, any circumstances. Well, wow. we always, I'm always working on that. <laughs> and then I also brought in, um, a Supreme's acetate, things that were unreleased. Wow. Um, hold that oh, up for just a second. So this was recorded at 20 grand in the city of Detroit, and wow. these songs are unreleased. And I brought a few more things and um, a Plum Street sign that we have in our store, uh, signed by um, all the hippies of their day. 
that was Plum Street was by uh, the old Ed the new Edison building now, and it was like the hippie street that everybody used to go. But there's a John Sinclair on there and Lenny, and then I brought in a WABX Gold Record Award, Look and along that. with that, that was a send in, and you got a decoder ring, which was kind of cool. That's cool. And then just a couple more things um, we have. I actually display. decoded this. Yeah, yes. it was a Be sure ring. to drink your Ovaltine. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> And then I brought a few more things in, um, a Motown Supremes, um, just a, a, a promo item. And what are you and, leaving behind? Um, not, not really anything today. <laughs> and then I have just a, a baseball autograph by the Beatles at Shea Stadium, mm -hmm. and then an Elvis ball, because we have a lot Very of things cool. on display, and we also buy vinyl collections from people. And nice. um, April 1st of this last year was our 30th anniversary. Congrats. Thank you. That's Thank a you. huge milestone yeah. and lots of unique things. So are some or all of these for sale? Some of these things are for sale. Some of them are from our private collection. Mm -hmm. But um, people have coined our store as a museum of music history. That's what our... Well, tell everybody where you are so we can go and visit. We are on 23013 Gratiot, and that's in East Point, Michigan. We're on Gratiot, just a little bit north of Nine Mile on the west side of the street. All right, sounds good. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you thank for you having for us. A little bit thank of you. history right in front of us.